and that is like, should I move? Welcome to another vlog. It's my first full day in Nashville. I'm very tired. I'm about to walk to get, because I really might not be doing this right. Okay, sweater's going on and I'm zipping it up. Oh, got it. Okay. I am about to go on a little morning walk to get some coffee. It is Wednesday. I have three recordings and then tonight I need to stay in because I need to prep for my recordings tomorrow just to make sure. Last night I said I was going to stay in, I ended up on Broadway, but I did get home at like 8.30, or I think at 8, and I went to bed at like 9. So I feel good, I'm excited, today I'm recording with Danny Taylor, Raina Roberts, and then I'm doing a solo. Danny and I are actually going to get brunch before we record. Today is going to be like my most, probably like chill day in Nashville, but I love this city. Oh, if you guys are new here, by the way, I'm Kenzie, nice to meet you, I have a podcast um, in which I only record in person. So I do a lot of batch recording trips. So like in two weeks I'm in New York, right now I'm in Nashville, and that's why I'm here. I just love Nashville with like every ounce of my being. I also have self tan hands really bad right before I'm about to record six episodes. Um, so I always love a good excuse to come, and I have like a good amount of friends here too. So um, I actually had randomly Morgan News was in town last night, so I saw her too. Anyways, here is my outfit. My Set is Year of Ours. It's so good. Sweaters, Abercrombie. I have these in every, or I have them in three different colors. I'm gonna wear the cream one again yesterday, or today, and I wore it yesterday. I'm obsessed. I have a brown one without it at home. Um, and I'm gonna head out to get coffee. Wow. Love a little morning coffee walk for me. I journaled this morning as well. Love that. <laughs> Walking over the highway right now. It feels so good. It's like the perfect weather in the morning right now. Absolutely amazing. My little brother just FaceTimed me with his Kindle that I got him, and he's like, Kinsey, I can't stop reading. I can't believe if I'm influencing my little brother, it's a big deal because he never listens to me. So I feel really good about that one. Anyways, I'm on this nice walk, listening to a podcast. Gonna go back and get ready. Um, Haley Bieber just went to call her daddy, so. I'll listen to that too. I am getting ready. I had such a nice walk this morning. I'm doing my makeup all out of order right now and I can't turn on the vanity lights right now, which by the way, good lighting because the fan turns on. But I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you guys. And this is not something that I haven't like brought up before. Um, I think especially my last trip to Nashville, I was talking about it a little bit more. And that is like, should I move? And here's the thing. If I was living in a city that I didn't love so deeply around people that I didn't love so deeply, I would be in Nashville in a heartbeat. I love Dallas, I love Texas. I could live there for the rest of my life and be so happy. And my family is there, my niece is there, I have a nephew on the way. Like, I love being like really involved in her life and that is like a huge reason as to like why I want to stay and then also like all of my family lives in Dallas like mo well not all of them most of them I not that Nashville is even like insanely far away it's an hour 45 flight and it's a nine hour drive which I would bring up because I have two dogs so anyways I actually really really don't want to leave Dallas at all but I also really really want to live in Nashville I don't know, like I love Nashville, I love the way it makes me feel. There's also a really like big community of people who do more of what I do here and I do think it will be like beneficial for my career. But I don't want to leave Dallas and I love Texas so much. See, when I moved to LA, if you guys didn't know, I lived in LA, I'm 25 now, I just turned 25. I moved to LA when I was 17. I was hadn't even graduated high school and I moved out on my own and I graduated early and I started college early. And I lived in LA for four and a half years. And then I bought a house in Texas in February, 2020 with the plan to go back and forth between LA and Dallas. But as time went on, obviously COVID hit and then I realized I didn't want to be in LA anyways. And I thought I did when I was in LA, I really liked it. But now it's just like definitely not the city for me. And like, I have like no, I don't even like visiting there anymore. So I have like no intention of ever being there. 
So, um, with that being said, part of me is like, if I'm gonna be in Dallas the rest of my life, am I gonna regret not living somewhere else? Or should I just like split my time and like get a place in Nashville for a bit and go back and forth? But like I have everything in life. This is also another thought that I have though. I have everything in life that I've like really ever wanted when it comes to like being near family, being having like a really cool, what? Having a really close group of girls in Dallas. Like I love my life there. I genuinely love Dallas and love living there so much. Let me just check the lighting on this. I just like lived far away from family too. And like at that point I didn't, it, it didn't bother me as much at that point. But now that like my niece is older and like keep, things are just happening, like I want to be there. And the other part of me is worried that like I'm either gonna regret not doing it or just feel stagnant or I could be doing more or whatever it is. I okay, I'm back. I'm putting my mascara on. I just thought about something though. I think I'm just so afraid of making the wrong decision. I really felt this when I was in college. Like I felt like. Everything in my life like was a result of another decision. If I made the wrong decision, I would never end up where I like, needed to be, if that makes sense, which is stupid. Something that Peyton Sarton shared with me that was a quote that she found that has really stuck with, ooh, that has really stuck with me. I'm actually not gonna talk about this mascara because last time I hurt myself. Um, something she shared with me was that your career is a jungle gym, not a ladder. And I think about that in life, like your life is a jungle gym, not a ladder. And I don't think that like by me making one decision is gonna like set off everything. But I'm worried about like both decisions being wrong. Like either moving to Nashville being wrong, part time, or I don't know, or not moving and staying in Dallas and like keeping my life as it is. And I'm also like really happy being there. And I miss just being home. Like, I mean, I haven't really done that since the pandemic, like the peak of pandemic, 2020, whatever. But like, I do miss being home. The other part of me is like, I want to experience life to the fullest. And I want to have this like big life that I love, that I've created. And am I making the wrong decision by staying in the place that I really want to spend the rest of my life in, in 25? Does that make sense? Um, I don't know. And then also, then I'll get like really down a rabbit hole and be like, I'm 25. Like within the next 10 years, I'll have kids. So like, am I dumb to like leave where my family is? Which is also like kind of extreme if you ask me. But I think I just need to start, stop looking at things as it's like so serious. And just like almost be like, uh, like things will happen, whatever. Even though obviously this is like a big financial decision. So I don't mean it in that way. I mean like myself in every regard and just say like, you know, nothing is going to like be detrimental. Whatever I decide is like what I decide and then things will work out, you know? I don't know. I just like really can't tell. I don't know. I'll give it the rest of the week and then like see how I'm feeling more. Um, I don't know. I also am like a people pleaser, so like I don't want to like upset people and like whatever. I'm actually not a people pleaser, but I'm a people pleaser in certain regards. So obviously a move would be like a really big decision. But again, I'm not talking about moving full time either. And I was going to do split my time between LA and Dallas anyways. And that was like two years ago. But I think now I just have a group of people that I don't want to leave and that I want to spend so much time with that I didn't have in LA. I had certain people that I did, but I didn't have the friendships in LA that I have in Dallas. Um, so I don't know, guys, I don't know. But anyways, I'm ready. I'm gonna go finish up some work and then I'm heading to brunch at Soho House. Sorry for just like unloading all of my deepest, darkest views. All right guys, here's my official outfit for the day. I have my sweater on over my dress, which I don't really just love this look, but I'm thinking that while I record, when it's cold, I can't just wear this sweater. Honestly, like not wearing jeans is like a push but I'm gonna be on camera. Thinking like when I sit down though, and I like make this cute and it looks like a skirt, like that could be a moment, you know? Um, I have my vintage Harley lap, how are we I always wear, where's my purse? Literally right here. Then I have my purse. My sunglasses, by the way, are Amazon. I love these, I wear them all the time. I'm really not a like expensive sunglass girly. I mean, I would love to be, but I just feel like I'm gonna break them all so I never like invest. Anyways, so I'm going to brunch right now. Oh my god. I feel like I like forgot how to vlog somehow in the past couple hours because I just like I don't know, I'm like overthinking it. So this is gonna be my look for today. Okay, this is what we're doing. Gonna go to brunch, experience, you know, life living in Nashville. I also just love Tennessee, like maybe like 
there's like neighborhoods. I, you know what I think it is too? I think I'm like ready for a new, no, I don't even know. I don't know, this is what I mean. I think I'm sabotaging because I love where I'm at right now, but I'm like, well, you know, I've kind of been in this like similar phase of life for like year and a half, two years, and maybe I'm ready for like my next chapter, if you will. I don't know. Also, side note, not everyone's gonna be into this, but um, the medium psychic that me and all my friends go to, her name's Laura, she's great. She told me that this week is gonna be very substantial. So maybe that's also why I'm putting pressure on it. But she was just like saying a bunch of stuff about this week. And I honestly, at that point, was like considering canceling this trip and like rescheduling. And that's why I was like, nope, I'm going. So anyways, we're off. This is my makeup look today. Um, my skin has like been breaking out, but I am going back. I'm getting better skin facials. It's the best facial ever I get at the Thompson. Um, and I'm gonna start getting them like monthly because I think that's gonna be like what gets my skin back to normal. All right, guys, I am on my way right now to the studio. Went to brunch with Danny, it was really fun. And now I'm gonna go record with Danny and then Reyna and then myself, and then I'm done around four. So, okay, this is like t really actually taking forever. I feel like I'm like in a good mood to record and I'm like ready. Sometimes you wake up and you know when you just like wake up and you're either funny or you're not funny or you're like not in the mood? It like stresses me out when I wake up like that on a recording day because like I have to be funny. You're like on one, you know? All right, y'all. We're leaving the studio. It is 4 p.m. I actually forgot that I have college friends. Oh my God, what is wrong with this lens? This is just not the vibe, guys. We're back. I forgot that I have college friends who moved here. They just texted me, so I might go see some of them. Um, I don't know. I need to get home and prep tomorrow's episodes so I feel okay if I do need to go do something tonight. But the episodes went great. Loved it. Um, great. What to do dinner? It's just, everything's really like coming into place here. I love it here. So I'm gonna go home. I would love to be able to wash my hair immediately, but I don't think so. All right, guys. I am heading to dinner. I just got some work done. We got our photos back for our next launch for the Okine for the scarves and beanies, and I'm so excited. They're so cute. I'm just really ready. I have so much going on in October. It's gonna be such a good month. This is my outfit. So I'm going to get dinner with um, two of my friends. One of them, both in the same time period. One of them, we went to college together, and the other one is the brother of someone that we went to college together. It's two boys. <laughs> two boys. They're like grown. I would never, like it makes me feel uncomfortable still to this day to say like woman or man. Like I still say boy and girl. Anyways, oh I thought I locked this. Um, I'm gonna meet them for dinner. I'm gonna go see George first and I think we're gonna get like queso or something and then meet up with James for dinner. It's gonna be a nice little reunion. Weirdly enough, I'm in Nashville but I'm seeing like most of my friends from LA. Not most of my friends from LA. People I've been seeing last night are LA and tonight are LA. So, anyways, heading out. I'm so hungry, like so hungry. And I have tomorrow's episodes prepped and I'm really excited. I think I might actually combine today and tomorrow just because like it's two recording days so I can't record like most of them in the day, you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll see. So anyways, I kind of like my hair right now. Something bad hair day yesterday, but it's like kind of came together so I'm kind of into it. Starting my morning off with AD and Emma Chamberlain. Please come in. Making some coffee. A piece that's actually not my dad's. My dad painted. Good morning, guys. I was gonna say welcome back to the vlog, and I realized it is just the next morning. I woke up, I slept in a little bit. I actually stayed up really late last night. So I went and I, okay, this has got to chill. I um, met up with a friend from college and then a friend's brother from college and we just have all been friends forever. So it was really good to see them as people that you like don't have to see for like two years and then it's the literal exact same and you're like closer with them than you are most people. So I had a really good night, stayed out later than I normally would have, literally just hanging out at a friend's house. We went to once 
upon a time in like France or something like that. I forget the name of the restaurant, but it was good. Um, and then we just hung out there. I came home and then I watched actually the D'Amelio's reality show and then it was midnight. So the new episode of the Kardashians, really crazy for me because I always go to bed early. So I woke up at eight, it's now already 10. Watched Emma Chamberlain's Architecture Adventure. I'm like really watching a lot of stuff these days. And I'm now on my way to pick up some coffee. I think I'm just gonna go to Starbucks because it's a drive through and then I wanna do a little walk this morning at Centennial Park. Um, I don't have that much time because I need to be in the studio by one, so I still need to go home and get ready and stuff. But today I'm recording with Ashley Cook, Jenica and Annika, and then Rachel. I always wanna say Racky, but she's obviously married now. So I'm excited for those and then I'm done with my batch recordings and I've got the weekend ahead of me in Nashville. Um, okay, random for those of you girlies who are on your like deconstruction <laughs> journey, I guess would be the phrase. I've been on my journey, I would say for the past like two, maybe more than that, two years. But no, I guess like two years. And I don't know, I like, I don't really know where I stand, but I'm like, Things are not as like repulsive, to, like for honestly, that's like kind of harsh, but that's how I feel. Um, things are not as like repulsive to me these days, and maybe I'll maybe I'll dip my toes back in, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I did all this work to feel better, and I feel better because I'm not involved. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Just thinking out loud, it could be because I'm in a new city and I'm always like really thinking at that time. Oh, please tell me this is a drive-through. I hate that I'm that person. I just don't know. It could be because I've like been with a bunch of friends who are like kind of still in that world recently. I don't have like anger. I just have things that I'm like, like I really heavily don't agree. And I also hate when people are like, oh my God, but it's not God. It's not the church. I'm like, I'm not even sad a problem with God. I said I had a problem with y'all. Like chill out. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not even everyone there. Like I'm really just being funny, but it's like, I know that. I didn't say it was like why why do you think you're God like that's literally not what I was saying I don't know um, not everyone will relate to this but a lot of you will because I get a unbelievable amount of messages I will say whenever we talk about this Ooh, which the other annoying thing okay this car is my way the other annoying thing too is that there's always the random people who like see it in a title or like I talked about or whatever and they're like Kenzie's like exposing and is like so rude and is like whatever and I'm like I actually talk about it in all seriousness, when I like sit down and talk about it on the podcast specifically, I think a very respectful way, and at some point, like you, it is okay for me to share my story. And like, I think it should raise some alarm if everyone is using the phrase exposing. It's like, what do I have to expose? Maybe that's on you. You know what I mean? Like, it's really annoying. And it's also really frustrating because like, I, not that I should care what these people think, but like naturally I do. Cause you spend a lot of time, like your life with these people. By the way, if you guys are new here, I was like really involved in church at a certain point for like a year or two. And I like went to like a weird college and whatever. So anyways, um, I like really try my best to talk about it in a very respectful manner. So it's really frustrating when people who like literally are not even involved in my life like say that I'm saying all these things when I'm literally not. And like if I wanted to, I could. But I'm, I like go out of my way to be like really respectful about it and like try my best. But the whole point, I guess, is that like I'll never please these people anyways. But I'm like, I don't even, I literally haven't talked to you in two years. Like, why are you saying that? And if you actually listen to what I was saying, it wasn't bad. And I think that's another issue is that like, why are you so concerned with people exposing? You know what I mean? And I'm not exposing. If I, like, listen, it would take a, no, I'm kidding. I was gonna say it would take a very large book deal for me to expose. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding for anyone watching this. Um, now I'm being funny and now people are gonna be mad. But it's just like, I actually don't say rude things and I am valid in my feelings and how quite literally everyone else feels. So anyways, that is that. That's just my morning deconstruction um, journey because I really don't talk about it that much because I just, I don't know, I'm like really over it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe something could change. What I was trying to say too is that it should maybe set us some alarms if they're using the, the verbiage exposed because if there's like nothing to expose, then what would I be exposing? Do you see what, like they're saying it, not me. You know what I mean? Okay guys, I love my outfit today. I just like, it's so cute. I'm wearing this bag, it's Fendi, but I got it on the real real. 
um, probably like two or three years ago. Love this bag, perfect for fall. Then I have this top on from Shop Rumors, or is it just called Rumors? It's probably just called Rumors. Um, I saw it like on social media or something. And I made an order pretty quick. This tank top that I have on is from Zara or Princess Polly. It's just a brown tank top. And then I have Abercrombie Curve Love Jeans, the best jeans ever. And my favorite boots, my brown boots from Miranda Lambert's line. And I did my makeup. I put on the Giorgio Armani foundation and I've been putting on the flawless filter underneath it, which I don't really know why, which is like out of habit. And it looks a lot better today. It looks better. In the other room. I don't know. The thing that sucks is that I have, oh my god. <laughs> I have like really bad self tan hands, so I've been wearing long sleeves. But like for this recording outfit, I'm literally gonna be like, this is how I'm gonna sit. Camera can't see me, you know? I'm like hiding them. It's humiliating, it is. So anyways, I'm gonna head off to the studio. I think I'm gonna grab a little snack on the way. Um, I'm not hungry enough for lunch, but like I'll be there until 4 p.m. Guys, look at how cute this view is. I just love it here. Well, you guys can't even tell. I feel like everything looks better in person. Guys, look who I'm with. Y'all were the most requested on, really? yes, because I asked on um, Q and A's, and then I discovered you guys from that, and then I like binged everything, and that's when I DM'd you. Yes, we had, we had such a good time. It was we such a good time. Ever. I'm so honored to be your first podcast. Um, anyways, this has been great. We're taking some pics. <laughs> Just finished recording. Today I recorded with Ashley Cook. Um, Jenica and Annika and then Rachel, um, formerly Rocky. It was such a good recording day. I loved all the girls. We just had a great time. I'm obviously on a different camera right now. That's probably why it looks a little bit different. But I'm actually heading back to my Airbnb right now. And I'm meeting um, my friend Hayden. We became friends um, last time I was here because he worked at the studio I recorded at. And I was just obsessed with him. And now we're friends. So he's coming to meet up. And I think we're gonna go get some drinks somewhere. I don't know where the night will lead me. Um, we will see. I have a few things I need to do when I get back and then I'll be like ready to go out, you know? I hope these vlogs aren't boring when I'm going into the studio because I like, can't really film in the studio. There's like not much to film. I just love you guys so much and I'm just so grateful. I literally have my dream job and I just love what I do so much and I just get to meet such cool people and like build like so many like friendships that are just great. Like I, I'm so grateful and I just love my life and it's all because of you guys so thank you so much I feel like I'm being really annoying in this vlog so I'll stop I feel like I've already said that in this vlog I can't remember it's been recording days I just like go into like a different haze so I'm heading back now um, listening to country music sometimes I listen I have like certain songs that I listen to that are comfort songs and I always listen to that when I'm like traveling and recording. All right, guys, I'm back. Here's my friend Hayden. Hey. I think you were probably in the last Nashville vlog, for like a second at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, drinking. Uh, drinking, of course, <laughs> which is what we're about to go do. But Jenica and Annika brought me a gift, which is so sweet of them. And I just opened it, and apparently these are incredible. So we're gonna do a live taste test. This beautiful Nashville candle. I just love it. They're like the cutest people ever. They're like the most incredible duo of people ever. I love them. Okay. It's this time. So you had them wear? I, I, I used to make them. Oh. Really? <laughs> well, they're, they're shattered now. Yeah, so uh, you, you said you make these. Yeah. yeah. I can fix it. Can yeah. Fix it. No, no, no. Literally, we used to make these. We would take like packets of like ranch and then like red pepper and you would bake them. I've never had They're I've so good. I've never heard of this before. Yeah. They're mm. so good. I'm not fucking playing. It's so good. No, they're so good. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. I love you forever. I'm forever indebted to you.